hello guys hope you are doing well in this video i am going to show you the difference between referencing a subclass object with subclass references versus a superclass reference so as you can see we have two classes here an animal class and a cat class which is inherited from the animal class this animal class has a variable of age with a value of 5 and the cat class also has a variable of the same name with a different value and this animal has a method called make sound which prints out animal is making sound which is overridden by this cat class here and it also has one more unique method to it that is the meow sound method that prints out this line here here you can see two ways in which a cat object is created one using the subclass reference which is a cat class and another one using the superclass reference which is the animal class in Java, a variable of superclass reference can be used to refer to objects of its own class as well as its subclasses. This may look very similar. In fact, in both cases, an object of cat is created. But the difference is in the methods and variables that the object can access. First, let's see the subclass method. I am clearing this from out now. Let's try to print the age variable. Let's try to print out the age variable of the cat one object. So we can see both the animal class and the cat class has this age variable. So which value do you think it will print out? Let's see. You can see two being printed. Even though the cat object inherits um, this way this age variable from the animal class, it prints out two because this variable hides this variable that's why we see two being printed so now let's try to invoke the make sound method from cat1 we can see cat is making sound being printed out instead of this animal is making sound and essentially this is called this method is called overriding method because this method overrides the implementation of it from the animal class so it gives its own implementation to the same implementation to the same method and that's how method overriding works in java and this we can see that cat class also has a meowson method which is unique to it it is not inheriting it from the animal class let's invoke that also We can see it being meow meow being printed. So from this we can conclude that um, when we create an object with the subclass reference, it gets, it can invoke all its methods and it can access all its variables along with its parents variables as well. But if the parents method is being overrided here, it will actually execute its own implementation instead of the instead of the implementation in the animal class now let's see creating object with superclass reference let me create a cat object so i have created a cat object with the, its superclass reference let me so the first and most important point here to note is that when creating a object with its superclass reference it can only assess methods and variables that is defined inside superclass and that word is important only only the ones which is declared inside the animal class so let me prove it to you here i will create a new variable int let's say string name equal to string name equal to bucky and let me try to print out bucky here so you can see error being thrown here it says cannot resolve symbol name and that's because as i have said before when creating a object like this with superclass reference it can only assess members which is defined inside its parent class unless it is a overrated method like this so let's see let me invoke the overrated method make sound uh, 
uh, now we can see that works so if we have a method inside the parent class and we are overriding it here like this then this one this method will get executed other than that the cat object cannot assess any of its other members um, like we can create another function like let's see this one this meoson function it is unique to this class it is not defined inside the animal class let's try to invoke it cat two dot meow sound you can see it can auto solve the method that's all there is to subclass referencing and superclass referencing let me give you a summary of this video when creating an object of a class with its subclass reference the object can access all its own methods and variables as well as its parents methods and variables if both the class contain variable of same name the variable of subclass hides the variable of superclass. If a method is overridden by the subclass, then that implementation will be executed instead of the parent class implementation. That's polymorphism in action. On the other hand, when creating an object of a class with its superclass reference, the object only has access to methods and variables defined in its parent's class. If a method of superclass is overridden in the subclass, then that implementation will be executed. Other than that, the object cannot access any of its own variables or methods. That's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something from this. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you. See you in the next video.